Hi, welcome to Moose's Workshop. Uh, today I'm going to show you some trains that I found uh, that were mine back in the early 80s. I uh, cleaned up my dad's garage and found them in an old tub of mine way, way back, buried under a million other things. I'm going to show you the first half that I found and then the second half. The first half is just dirty. The second half was uh, in another little box. But the mice have gotten to it, so I want to make sure I wash my hands after that. So, let's start off with the first one. <clears throat> They're not in very great condition, as you can tell. Old Santa Fe. It's a lifelike. Could probably do something with it, even if it doesn't run. Use it for parts, because I don't have any parts yet to fix all my other... Choo choo trains. Another Santa Fe. Too much missing from it to actually tell where it's from or what it's from. One of my old favorites, Burlington Northern. Not a very good number on it, but uh, let's see. Made in Taiwan. And there's some weird, like, 3A symbol. Or, like, Lambda 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 or something. I don't know. Um, but hopefully I can get that running. Because I like little squitchers. Uh, here's a, another Santa Fe. Different style. Maybe it's an F7. It's a Bachman, Hong Kong. You might be able to put it back together. Pretty lightweight. Um, whole back end of this Burlington Northern is missing. It is a whatever that symbol is again. This one says made in Yugoslavia. Huh. Don't know what that means. Well, I know what it means, but I don't know if it means anything special. Illinois Central Gulf. Except for one little piece right here, it looks to be all together. It's a Tyco. And a very old popular. Looks like most everything's here. Another Tyco. Silver Streak. Okay, and that's it for that box. Now for the other box. It's going to need a lot of cleaning. Found my second power supply. Keep that as a backup if it works. <clears throat> Let's see, Union Pacific Shell, 866. Smells like a barn here. Um, here we go. From the G.I. Joe set back in the day. If I remember right, they were a Bachman set, but I'm not totally sure. But yeah, G.I. Joe. That, there's another G.I. Joe in here. Stickers are still on it. Tyco. It's a Tyco. Okay. It's missing some stairs over there. Stickers are still there. And then I have one of what a regular one would be like. Santa Fe, so that's probably a Tyco as well. Different underneath. Flat car and some fake wood. Erie Lackawanna. Cushioned car. Bachman. Another Santa Fe. It's a shell though. Shell tanker. It looks to be in one piece. A little rust on one of the axles, but nice. Train cab to something. Browning, whatever that is. 
Here's where you start to get some really nice mouse stuff. Yucky, yucky. Chattanooga, that's just a shell. Here's the train, I think, that goes with it. A lot of mouse stuff. Don't know if it'll run, but we'll see. And also, in N scale, found that the only N scale I ever had back then. They were cool. A caboose with no top. And one set of wheels. So, it's a lot of stuff. Some I'll keep, some I might throw away, I don't know. It can be cleaned. But as you can see, quite a few trains. I didn't even look to see what this is. Made in Hong Kong by Tyco. So if anybody knows anything about that thing. Okay, well that's it. Um, thank you for tuning in. Subscribe, like, comment, dislike, if you can, because you can't do it anymore. Have a great day, and we'll see you at the next video.